Talmud Bavli, Gemara Brachot, Perik Hamishi, Daf Lamed Dalit Aleph, Chapter 5, page 34a. Chavrotar Kalapesh Mayami Ika, may one act towards heaven with familiarity. Ilo Kavenda Date Me Ikara, if he did not concentrate at the outset. Machinan Le Bemar Zavta, Denapacha Ad. We strike him with a smith's hammer until he does concentrate. Mishnah. Uh, in brackets it says, Haomer Yevare Chucha Tobim Hareze Darche Minot. One who says the good ones shall bless you, this is the ways of heresy. Ha'over lifnei ha'teva v'ta'a, one who is leading the prayer service at Maiden Era, yavor acher tachtav, another should take his place. Ve'lo yeher sarvan be'ota sha'a, nor at such a time should one refuse to do this. Meheichan hu matchil, from where should he begin? Mitchil, the person replacing him, Mitchilat Habracha Sheta'aze, from the beginning of the blessing, where the prayer leader made an error. Haover Lifne Hateva, one who leads the prayer service, Loya Ne Amen Yachar HaKohanim, should not respond to Amen after the Kohanim, Mipne Hateruv, because of, confu of confusion or making an error. The im ein sham kohen elahu, and if there is no kohen present other than himself, lo yisa et kapav, he should not raise his hands. The im hav tachato shehu nose et kapav vechazel litfilato rashai, but if he is confident that he can raise his hands and return to where he says to where he left his prayer, he is permitted to do so. Keeping in mind that. Uh, there were no sidurim when the these laws were created, so um, so all of this was done from memory, and you didn't want people to make an error and lose their place. Gemara. Tanu and Rabbi's taught in Baraisa, Ha'avelifnei Hatseva, one who led the prayer service, Sarich Lesarev should refuse at first, the Ime no Mesarev, and if he does not decline and accept straight away, Dome letashil she'ein bo melach, then he resembles cooked food without salt. The im esarev yotem midai, if he refuses too much, Dome letashil shehikti chato melach, then he resembles cooked food that has been oversalted. Ketzad hu ose, how should he behave? Pa'am rishon yisarev, the first time he should refuse. Shniya mehavhev, second time he should uh, stir himself. Like as if he's getting up. Shlishit poshet et yored. The third time he's asked, he should extend his feet and go down and become and be shlech tzibur. I'm just going to scroll down. So on the screen, we're at the top of the screen, the last part of the sentence, where it starts, uh, last part of the line, Tana Rabbanan. On the page, we're about halfway down the first narrow section. Tana Rabbanan, the rabbis taught in a baraisa, Shosha Ruban Kashe Umi Utan Yafe. Three things are bad in excess, but fine in moderation. The Eluhen Seor Umelach, the Sarvanut, and they are yeast, salt, and refusal. Amarakun Rafuna said, Ta'abe Shalosh Rishonot, if one made an error, and forgot to say one of the first three blessings, Chazela Rosh, you must go back to the beginning of Shmonestra and start again. Be Emtai. If he made an error in the middle, uh, one of the middle blessings, he must go back to 
Chonin Hadaat, you graciously give. The Acharon Nod, Chazel Avoda, and in the if he makes him an error in the final three blessings, he goes back to to the Avoda, to the temple service. The Rav Asi Amar, Rav Asi says, Em Tzayot Ein Lahen Seder, and the middle blessings have no order. If he skipped one, he doesn't need to go back at all. But, uh, right. Mativ Rav Shesha, Rav Shesha challenged this. Mehechan Hu Chazer, from where should he resume when the new person takes over? Mitchilat Abracha Sheta Azer, from the beginning of the blessing, which in which he made an error. de Rav Huna. This is a, a, ref, a refutation of Rav Huna because it seems that he does not go back to the beginning of the section. Amalah Rav Huna. Rav Huna answer, would answer. Em sayot kul hu chada birchata ninhu. The middle blessings all constitute a single blessing. Ama Rav Yehuda. Rav Yoda said, Le'olam al yishal adam tarchav lo beshalosh rishonot. A person should never petition God for his needs, neither during the first three blessings of Shemun Ezra, ve'lo beshalosh achorot, and not during the last three blessings, ele be'em tzayot, rather only during the middle blessings. Da'amar Rabbi Hanina, for Rabbi Hanina said, Rishonot dome le eved shemesadea sheva lifne rabo. In the first in the first blessings, he's like a servant who states praise before his master. Em tayota me le eved shemevakesh peras me rabo. The middle blessings is like a servant who requests uh, something, an, an allotment from his master. Achronoto me le eved shekibel peras me rabo venifta veholechlo. In the last three blessings, he's like a servant. Who receives something from his master and begs leave and goes on his way after giving, after uh, expressing his gratitude. Tana Rabbanan, <coughs> the rabbis taught in a brisa, Maseh betal midechad shi'arad lifnei hetziva lifnei Rabbi Eliezer. It happened that a certain student went down before the ark from the presence of Rabbi Eliezer. Vaya meha ma'arich yoter midai, and he prolonged his shmon esrei excessively. Amru lo tamidav, Rabbi Eliezer's student said to him, Rabbeinu kama arkan huze a teacher, what a prolonged this person is. Amalehem, Rabbi Eliezer said to them, Kulum arich yoter mi Moshe, Rabbeinu, does he then prolong uh, his tefillah more than a teacher Moses? Dirtiv be about whom it's written, et arbaim hayom ve et arbaim halayla ve gomer, that is, he. I threw myself down before Hashem for 40 days and 40 nights, etc. Shuv ma'aseh betal mirechad she yared lifnei hateva bifnei Rabbi Eliezer. Again, it happened that a certain student went down to lead the prayer service in the presence of Rabbi Eliezer. Vahaya mekatser yoter midai. And he abbreviated the service excessively. Am rulo tal midav, Rabbi Eliezer's student said to him, Kama katran huze, what an abbreviation, abbreviator this person is. Amalahem, Rabbi Eliezer said to them, Kulum mekatse yoter mi Moshe Rabbeinu. Does he then abbreviate his prayers more than a teacher Moshe? Dichthi, for a treason, el na refana la, please Hashem heal her, please heal her. This is what uh, Moshe prayed for his sister Miriam when she got Saras. Ama Rabbi Yaakov, Ama Rav Chista, Rabbi Yaakov said in the name of Rav Chista, Kol HaMevakesh Rachamim Al Chaveiro, Ein Tzarech Le'az Kishamor, One who seeks mercy for his friend, need not mention his name while praying. Shneemar El Na Refan Because it says, Please Hashem, please heal her. Velo Kamad Ka Shema De Miriam, Without mentioning Miriam's name. Tan Rabban and the Rabbis taught in Abraisa, these are the blessings during which a person vows. The avot, the patriarchs, tefillah v'sof at the beginning and at the end of the, that's the beginning and end of the patriarchal blessing. Behodaah uh, at modim, 
here you bow. Tchila v'sof, and at the beginning and end of the blessing as well. The imba lashuach v'sof kol bracha uvracha uvi tchilat kol bracha uvracha. And if someone wanted to bow at the end of every blessing and at the beginning of every blessing of Shema Nesret, melamdim noto shelo yishcheh. We would teach him not to bow except at the four places already given, already stated. Ama Rabbi Shimon ben Pazi, Ama Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi Mishumbar Kapara, Rabbi Shimon ben Pazi, said in the name of Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi, who said in the name of Bar Kapara, Hediyot Kemoshe Amar, no, an ordinary person, conducts himself as we said, that is, bowing at the four places.